Well, welcome to the channel. And this is a quick video uh, about the new release of the BMW R1300GS which has just went out less than 24 hours ago so I thought I'd make a quick video about it and uh, since it's such a big event in the uh, adventure bike world and basically I had a quick look, watched a few uh, vloggers and what they have done, and what, what their thoughts are, and what they're thinking about it. And uh, I'll have a confession to make, and that for the last year I have been waiting for this day, yesterday, to see the release of what the new 1300 GS is like. Because I've been hankering to buy a GS for the last year, and I've been holding off. I have been very good in holding back on spending my money on a 1250 GSA. I just wanted to make sure that if I bought a GSA 1250 that I'm not going to regret it as of today or yesterday. So I've been waiting. So basically, yeah, I'm after a stable mate for Ambrosia here. So I won't be getting rid of Ambrosia, she's part of the family. And I'm just after getting a, a garage mate, a stable mate for her. So basically, yeah. So watching the launch uh, video of it and uh, seeing all the, the nice words the uh, designer had to say and uh, the f three or four models they showed there I think it was a normal GS there was a trophy and there was a something Montana I can't remember what it is name now I'll put it up on the screen and uh, and the ship of lack of course so yeah, on the face of it, everything looked great. And I looked at the specs, fantastic. Yeah, very much bringing it up to date. And uh, I'll talk a bit more about that later. And, uh, and certainly the, uh, the modern look uh, of the bike, making it more in line with the, the uh, other bikes that are out there. The, uh, it's just like uh, waiting for Christmas waiting for that game that you've been dying for Star Wars Lego game or something for your PlayStation and uh, only to find out that when you open your present all you got was a box of Star Wars Lego now I'm a little bit disappointed in the look of the bike the spec of the bike absolutely brilliant no problems there Absolutely uh, great specification and the uh, new engine, uh, more power, more torque and uh, the quick shift is supposed to be being reworked, made a lot smoother, which is all much welcome news. So essentially the spec of the bike I'm very happy with, my mind is at rest. But the look of the bike, I'm struggling with. And I think a few people have uh, mentioned that they are having issues with the, with the look. And mainly, for, for me, mainly, it's the, uh, the front beak and the headlight. I think a lot of people are saying, yes, they're, they're holding judgment on that and maybe it'll sink in, maybe it'll get better as time goes on. So uh, it's the same here, really. It's, uh, it's different. I think because of the headlights is now this flatter LED one. They've gone skinnier on the beak, is my guess. That's the way it looks to me. So, but well, it's just more like a, a, a crow's beak as opposed to a, a hawk's beak, or if you get what I mean. It's kind of it's skinny and pointier from a certain side, from the side, certainly. But on the front doesn't look so much. But from the side, it's just, just to me it's just a bit off-putting 
it would probably be much better when I see it in the flesh. So I'm, uh, I'm the same as uh, a lot of people. I'm just holding judgment till they see the bike, sit on it and have a look at it. But the initial impressions is that this, uh, you know, that, that front is, uh, is going to get take some getting used to. I've watched a few videos online and uh, seen a few other bikers reviews. Um, Listened in Flyer and uh, username Kate have done some uh, quite nice quick uh, covering of all the specs so I won't go over all the specs uh, again myself and um, well basically I'm just going to give you my personal first impressions of it. So I'll be interested in what you think of it uh, as well please make a, a comment uh, at the bottom there and um, just see if you have the same feeling as me. You know, spec wise brilliant but look wise it's different and uh, that front beacon, particularly the headlights, is going to get some getting used to. And uh, maybe seeing it in the flesh will, uh, will help getting used to that. And, and whether taking it for a ride and feeling the new ride with the new bike will, uh, you know, make you sort of, oh, we'll accept the new, uh, new look because the bike's just brilliant. I don't know. That's uh, for the day when uh, I hope to take it out on a, on a test drive and, uh, and I'll see it there uh, and I'll see then how it's going to look like. So, since I'm really aiming for a GSA uh, I really was hoping that we we're going to get some uh, news about the 1400 and because uh, I believe that's supposed to be the, the GSA, the adventure uh, version of this, because that's the one I really want, that's the one I've been aiming for um, because what I was holding off on buying is the 1250 GSA. So although this is just the GS, um, it's uh, it was, it was wasn't anything I was particularly looking at buying directly, unless it was absolutely fantastic and it knocked me off my shoes. Then, then yes, but it, it hasn't. You know, the spec-wise, brilliant. Look-wise, I'm sort of standing back and and umming and ahhing and going, you know, is this really gonna do it for me? So I don't know how long it's gonna take before BMW announce uh, the uh, 1400. Um, but I haven't looked into it yet. I don't know what they have announced it or not. I'm guessing not, otherwise people would have mentioned it. So um, if that's not going to be pulled in a year's time, well, the decision for me I have, to, I have to make is do I wait another year not having a 1250 GSA and wait for the 1400? Well, the thing with the 1400 GSA is, is it going to be based on the GS, on the new one? Is it going to have that same headlight? Is it going to have the same beaky uh, front on it? You know, if it is, then I'm not sure whether I will buy it. I'm, it's just the only time will tell. So my choice is, well, do I buy a 1250 GSA, a nearly new one? And then decide in the years time whether to upgrade fast exchange or not. And not miss out a, another summer of potential uh, going out for some uh, adventure ride for two, three days here and there wasted in the summer. So that's the kind of decision uh, I'm in the middle of trying to make now. So so what features do I really like on the new GS? Well definitely the um, the quick shifter idea of that being uh, reworked is a, a good wel welcoming thing I think because uh, I took out the uh, 1250 GS for uh, a test ride and though the quick shifter is fine you know, but first to second, yeah, okay, a bit clunky. But if they really made a big difference there, then that's definitely something I'll, I'll welcome. Um, Safety-wise, I like the idea of the blind spot in your mirrors. The, uh, the idea is that, uh, you know, the little uh, LED in the mirror that will, I think, either go yellow if there's something in your blind spot, or then blink yellow if, there's some, if you're trying to pull out and there's something in your blind spot. I think something like that. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. And uh, but is that enough for me to uh, to buy the uh, the new GS? I don't know. Could there be some of the aftermarket, you know, make something like that for uh, an add-on to the, uh, the the last generation of the uh, the GS, the GSA, the 1250s? I don't know. Uh, certainly the uh, the adaptive cruise control is definitely a, a welcome thing. Um, so that if, we're, if I'm going to go on adventures, the idea of having a, something that's watching and keeping distance between me and the cars in front is another good safety feature, I think. It was the collision avoidance or collision assist or something like that feature in there. Um, yes, 
is that enough for me to uh, look away from the headlight and the, and the beak? I don't know yet. Other features uh, I like them there. I like the uh, new shortened exhaust. Uh, they're couple of rich and it's the stainless steel one. Um, which means, could there possibly be a way of putting that onto the existing or the last uh, 1250 uh, GSA bikes? I don't know. It all depends if you've got panniers or not. And then will that exhaust and fit where the panniers are? Because I understand the panniers are different for the uh, new 1300. And um, because of the short exhaust as well, going so sort of underneath, I think, from the look of it, and not through. The other feature I like is the uh, adaptive suspension, uh, where the idea is that when you drive along the bike, rises three centimeters, and then when you're coming to a stop, it drops three centimeters. Um, that is, is a great help, I think, because at the moment I'm looking at the a factory uh, reduced heights uh, 1250 GSA well uh, that new feature I would imagine with a, a lower seat would eliminate the whole concept of a factory uh, lowered version of the new 1300s right we're just going through the village of Hungerford town village nice little place little antique shops I think is what it's well known for and galleries oh, that's a quick one through uh, Hungerford High Street so the thing about the new design and the look of the uh, 1300 GS is I think obviously they're making it to compete with the, the more sportier looking uh, uh, adventure bikes. So I can see why they've gone down that route. And uh, future going into the future. Let's imagine the, uh, the current model is uh, probably mostly bought by the uh, older gentlemen, or they and ladies. Um, but I think they're trying to appeal to certainly the younger driver. My understanding is the uh, Ducati uh, Strada uh, is um, mostly purchased by the younger driver and so I think this uh, new design will appeal to the younger driver so I can see going forward why they've done that. Um, us, uh, I hate to use the word but the younger generation is uh, maybe not much uh, future markets uh, for them. I guess again, and uh, so my own fault here. So why am I contemplating buying a GS, a GSA? Well, I've had this bike uh, for 25 years, and it's uh, nice to have something different. And uh, but I like this bike too much, so uh, we will have the uh, GSA as well as the R1200C. And uh, I think they'll go good together as a two different kind of bikes, two different kind of rides. And uh, will I stop down the channel for the uh, GSA? I don't know, probably will. And uh, see how it goes. I'll keep Ambrosia's channel all to herself. And go on different kinds of adventures. Ambrosia is more like this in the neighborhood. Going around uh, visiting interesting sites. You know, no more than a day away at most probably. While uh, the GSA will probably be for uh, longer adventures, and uh, so I plan to do take baby steps in that direction. Just take uh, an overnight or somewhere, then a couple of nights, then head into Wales a bit more. You know, start off in Devon, Cornwall, then head up to uh, into Wales, and then further up the country, Lake District, and. Uh, I feel brave enough and definitely into, into Ireland. And uh, one of the places I definitely want to do is northern Spain. Take a ferry down to Bilbao or well, Santander and uh, do northern Spain for there for a week or so. So all those things are etched in my head as being you know, something to do with a new uh, GSA. Whether well, that will be the 1250 GSA or the 1400 GSA, uh, there's remain uh, 
to be honest with you. Like I said, the front of the 1300 GS is uh, I'm still holding back on whether I really, really like it or not. I'll wait till I see it in the flesh. Uh, you know, fondle it a bit, see what it's like, sit on it, take it for a test ride, and then hopefully uh, the 1400, the GSA, based on the 1300, which I see no reason why it shouldn't be, um, I'll be able to have a, a, a kind of a gut, gut feeling to whether to know I'll stick with the 1250 GSA and I'll buy that first and then we'll see how the 1400 turns up, what that's going to be like. If I did go for the GS 1300, which model would I go for? Well, everybody goes for the TE, so it's definitely going to be something on that spec. So, for me it's a triple black, or oh, the uh, the other one, which the name escapes me at the moment. Something around the Tamana. I don't know. I'll put it up underneath. And uh, I'll have to see those and, uh, and pick up for a test ride beside them. Which one I want. That green colour is not my favourite. I hope they'll add more colours to the range, as uh, maybe after few months. That would be awesome. As well as allowing the uh, third party markets maybe to uh, mature a bit as well. More special choice of panniers and hang bags and whatnot. Alright, just coming into Marlborough now, down this hill. Going to Marlborough now. Busy day. summarize, will I be going down to the uh, local BMW dealer and saying, please Mr. BMW man, take my money and give me one of these 1300 GSs. As of today, 24 hours after uh, its release, my feeling is no. Uh, not no for forever. I need to see the bike now. I need to see what the uh, headlight really looks like, the proportions of the, uh, the beak and how that might actually apply to uh, uh, the whole bike and how it looks, you know. And then obviously got to take it for a ride. Although that side of things, the technical, the engine side of things, I'm not particularly worried about, but it's still got to experience it to really see what it's like. But overall, the whole look of the bike, I think I'm going to have to really see it in the flesh to make my mind up whether it's this more modern look, more sporty look, and smaller, I understand, in size. So if it's smaller, uh, I like the GSA because it's big. I know people were saying, you know, they're, they're happy with it being smaller. And I could have been happy if it was a bit bigger. So that is uh, kind of where I am with this. So uh, the GS, 1300 GS, I will probably not go for it, but I'm hoping for that. It, it'll give me good hope that the 1400 is going to be okay. Now, depending on when the 1400 is due to be released, I don't know. If that's going to be a year away, I don't know whether I'm going to wait a year. You know, I'm just get a 1250 GSA and, uh, and hope the 1400 isn't too good <laughs> and, keep the, and keep the 1250 GSA. Well, that's, uh, you know, that's the, I think, the, the dilemma I'm, I'm faced with. And, uh, I think that's the next step, is wait until the 1300s in the shops and uh, go and see it, go on a test ride, sit on it, look at it, and then sort of decide what am I going to do about the 1400. Although I believe there's a 
third model, an M or something was mentioned a few months ago. No idea whether that's going to be released at the same time as the 1400. I might be wrong there. I might be making stuff up. But that's what kind of what I want to see. But, you know, the 1250 GSA, especially this last one, the Ultimatum one, although I don't think that's a, an A, a GSA. It might be just a GS. Uh, so if it is just a GS, then, then no, I want a GSA. joining this quick little video about the GS1300 and uh, I'll catch you on the next one.